Do you want to create a collage that can inspire and bring new perspective? Yes? Then let's go. the special exhibition Allied with Power with our very special guest Natasha Jones. Hey guys. Hey. Hi. How, how are you? I am excellent. I am so excited to be here with you guys. I am so humbled. Thank you. We are excited to have you. We're actually here today to work on an art making activity that has to do with point of view and perspective and is also inspired by the artworks of Deborah Roberts. So that being said, let's start with the first step of this activity, which is talking about point of view and perspective. And so my question to you, Natasha, is looking at Deborah Roberts' work behind you, what is one word that you can think of that describes these artworks for you? Um, wow. <laughs> so many words come to mind. I cannot just pick one, but if, if I had to be honest, um, from the first time I saw them, wow. Um, the colors, the textures, um, just the different pieces. The, the collage is one of my favorite from like childhood doing collages, one of my favorite art things to do. So I was very impressed and very taken by this piece. Okay, so we're ready to begin. We're here at our art station. We have all our materials ready to go. So here's what you're gonna need for this art making activity. We're gonna need scissors to cut out the pieces for our collage. Scissors. We're going to need drawing materials. So I have some pencils here, all uh, courtesy of the Pam gift shop and some cool crayons that we're gonna work with today. I'll put these between the two of us so we can work on them together with them Sharing together. Is caring. Yes. Then I also need to choose um, some really cool magazines to cut my pieces out of. Ooh, I love these. So I've been choosing things like People magazine or thing with health or food and travel. So that way you get a lot of color, texture, and different things to choose from. All right. <laughs> All right, then we have this amazing paint kit that uh, the Pam Gift Shop has given us today with these really cool names for their paint colors. So if you have a chance, you've got to check it out. But Beautiful. This is, I love it. And it's actually going to give us some detail work today. We're going to add that in at the end of our collage. Finally, we need our canvas. So I'm working on a cardstock poster board that we're going to be using today. Um, and then, of course, our glue because it's a collage and we need to stick things yes. down. The first thing that we want to do is we want to go through our magazines and we want to choose different pictures, colors, textures, patterns, things that we like so that we might want to use in our collage. So for instance, like I really do love all of these citrus fruits. So this might be something that makes it into my collage. Natasha already started cutting her pieces out. What kind of textures are you looking for, Natasha? Um, I'm looking for, so this one says smart mouth and it's like really big and loud. I know I mentioned earlier that I'm that big mouth. I'm loud. I'm proud. So I, this really caught my eye. I love a popping lip. So that's pretty much me right there in the mouthpiece. So I'm looking for that. And I like the textures of the fruits and vegetables and all of the earthy, um, tones and the reds and and browns and golds oh my god who does not like gold so i'm excited so with that so she's already got a lot of her pieces cut out and so like once you choose the pieces that you like you cut them out of the magazine you get them to be the shapes that you want and then what we need to play around with is our composition so what are you thinking for your composition so um of course, being inspired by Deborah and everything, I would like to focus more on the face and a crown. Cause I, I am a queen. That. You are a queen. Queen, okay. <laughs> I love You're a that. queen. So I would I want to make a crown and I want to see how that comes out. So I think I'm gonna go a different route. I am really interested on in the movement and motion in Deborah's piece. And so I really want to focus on the different body parts and how I can kind of puzzle them together. So I'm kind of interested to see oh, how yeah. that'll come out. Maybe you can put my crown on top of your body. There you go. Ah. All right, so let's get started. We're gonna start play, placing our pieces down onto our canvas or our paper, whatever you're working on. And we just wanna kind of start moving things around. And this is when you start deciding if you're gonna chop things, maybe trim a couple of things out. And you just wanna kind of play around. We're not gluing anything until you actually have a good composition that you're happy with. So I'm coming here and I'm gonna go ahead and trim this down.
So I'm just making some little slits here, trying to give me like a crown effect here. I don't Ooh, know what girl. I'm gonna do with it, but I'm gonna I like make that, it. adding texture by cutting with your yes. scissors. That's what I'm gonna do with this. So here I'm just kind of playing with different tones, with different pieces from each different person that I find, and just kind of seeing if I can mix it up. And collaging can be a lot of fun. It's very calming. It is. It's a great way to just spend an afternoon with family. And I love, I just love all of the colors and, and oh, that's so pretty. I love <laughs> the it. The tones, right? Yes. I, f I feel like I took the easy way out, right? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean to. It's definitely a little more difficult trying to collage pieces. Body like parts, I know. Like a puzzle. Okay. I maybe maybe that's something I can try with my students in class where I, where I can make mistakes. And again, as I'm placing things down, I'm remembering not to glue just yet because I want to make sure that I like what I'm what I'm uh, cutting out and what I'm placing down. So is this something that you would like to take to your classroom, Natasha? This, Absolutely. This part of the I'm actually, I kind of told them that we were going to do this when I got back. Awesome. So I'm excited because they love art um, projects and mm -hmm. I have some very artistic students. Um, a lot of them do the anime um, type of Drawing? Art, okay. yeah. So I'm not as good as that, but um, definitely we love to do art in our class anytime we can get a break to do that. I'm liking this so far. I think oh, she's looking fierce. I love that. I don't know. I feel like I'm missing some things. So I was super excited to work on this with you because it's been a long time since I've like done a, done a lesson plan <laughs> or worked in a classroom. I know. It's like you never lose it. You want a teacher, always a teacher. You know, and just being super like invested with my students. Oh yeah, and you're teaching me now, so I mean, I'm like learning so much just being here with this experience. It almost looks like a um. So I told you I've been watching a lot of um, <laughs> um documentaries on Greek mythology. So uh, okay, I'm I'm getting Athena Athena vibes right now <laughs> with the um crown of armor you know goddess of war love it even though i, I like to make love not war but the yeah. very passionate look. very passionate look so over here i've got a couple of people things going I on i love it kind of playing around with my colors i love the colors it looks like we're like on the same page with the colors mm -hmm. and it's spring but we're we're looking so foggy right now right these are <laughs> Yeah, you know, I, I love fall. I'm I a fall baby. Earthy, so maybe earthy and it's matching your dress and everything. There you go. So I actually think that I'm happy with my composition. So I know you're I still working yours out. I but think I, I'm good. Maybe, I just feel like this space, but maybe that's something I can do with the paint or something. Perfect. So that's what I'm going to do. So now I'm going to take out my glue stick and I'm going to start making sure that everything is fastened down. And I just want to pick up one piece at a time so I don't overdo it or lose where my uh, pieces on, on my collage were supposed to be. I'm going to start with this piece down here. So we played with our composition, we cut out our pieces for it, and we glued everything down. So the next step is to start playing with a little bit of color and design. So I've got 
<laughs> so I've got my, colors. my drawing tools, my crayons, these beautiful paints that we got from the Pan Gift Shop. I really love the colors. They have such cool names. We've got some avocado, algae, uh, lemon zest. Like they have the, the coolest names for these colors. So we're just going to use that to now start adding a little bit of pizzazz and design to our composition. Right. So let me see, where do I want to start? I think I'm going to start with some lemon zest. Oh, lemon zest. Lemony. I think I'm going to start with the, is that pool? Blue is my favorite color, by the way. Yellow is mine. Yes, that's pool. The name of that blue is pool, which I think is an awesome name for color blue. Mm, I don't know. So now I'm thinking about like the empty spaces that I have, where I might want to add some designs. And I'm not going to go too crazy with my, my designs. Like simple lines, shapes can be really fun to add to your collage. good about mine so far how are you feeling i'm feeling great i love this this is so therapeutic and it just really reminds me of how creative i can be because sometimes we we lose that you know mm -hmm. we don't know i'm, I'm loving it oh my gosh she so looks so fierce lips. like sasha fierce so i think that i'm good i added some crayon added a little bit of pencil i love it i added a lot of line i focus more on lines i think that you've got a little bit more shape going on there so i think the final thing we need to do is we need to just think about a title for our artworks hmm what is one word that could describe this piece almost kind of like our exercise in the beginning yeah. what is a, a word that could describe or a title that could describe the art piece that we just created now do you want to do your own or you want to do each other's hmm we could do both. Okay. So you go first. <laughs> okay. Um, for mine, I think I'm going to go with a uh, fresh embrace. Oh, fresh embrace. I love it. Cause of the fruit it's fresh. We're embracing beauty. Mm -hmm. I love it. I think it's perfect. I said fierce. I love the, that I have, um, the crown themes throughout. It just helps me to embrace that royalty inside of us, that mm -hmm. fierceness. Um, that unapologeticness, like I'm here, I'm bad, you can't stop me. I love it. Awesome. So try that at home. When you're done with your piece, maybe try to come up with a title for it. Maybe think of a word that you will give you a feeling or emotion or perspective on how you see this piece. And then also leave it for a couple days, come back to it and see if you still like it or if you, you maybe want to add something different to it. Perspectives can change day to day. Um, and then finally, just have fun with it. And if you really enjoy this activity, please share with us on hashtag PamDIY.